Yo guys, what is up? This is Real American Studios, and I'm here to do a, um, well, I'm going to do a line-by-line -line analysis of the song Little Hellion, the diss track that I dropped on Michael Hales, who, by the way, deserved it. So, um, you know, I know there might have been some shots in there that people might have had a hard time understanding. So I'm here to kind of clear the air on that. Um, also, Pete the Chain. I know I mentioned it every fucking video, but honestly, Pete the motherfucking Chain, bro. All right, let's go. <clears throat> so to start off, I start off this motherfucker trying. He trying to put us all through not one but two hells, and that's a play on his name because his name is Michael Hales. So H A L E S is how I spelt it in the line. But it's like he's putting us through hell but I said two hells and basically I said two hells because number one he's causing a lot of fucking problems for everyone and number two it also fit in his name not one but two hells but like a train that's wrecking you've gone too far off the rails so basically like a train that like if it wrecks obviously it's going to go off the rails so basically in this line I'm trying to say he's took it too far and honestly for this rap I might go to jail as in he might report me or something, try to get me put in like time out by YouTube or something, and nobody pay ain't nobody paying my bill. Obviously nobody can do anything about that. Only I can dispute it if he made a claim against me. But harassing my pals ain't gonna cut it. And you know, um I mean obviously I don't like the fact that he's harassing people in the community, which is why I drop the diss track in the first place um so this is for monkey ray and the ooze nick and hootie d2 uh monkey ray obviously my versus opponent who's also one of my good friends the ooze obviously big oozy nick and houdini too you know i mean nick is another guy he's been harassing uh houdini is the main one that he says he's beefing with but yet he keeps harassing me and everyone else I know you guys either pissed or feeling blue. Basically, they're either mad or he's just, like, he's stressing them out or something. But coming like a trip across the ocean about to give this man the flu, uh, this is definitely my least favorite line in the entire diss track because I was trying to play off of a double entrada like you're flying across the ocean, so the flu, as in a plane, but also the coronavirus, which is in China. Obviously China's across the ocean so giving people the flu uh, it's just a really dumb line and I really shouldn't have put it in there. Uh, you play in a dangerous game because people commit, could commit home, uh, suicide. Basically like if they're commit like you can drive people to suicide through harassment like it's been done before. I guess you could call me Jack the Ripper because I'm committing lyrical homicide. Obviously I'm destroying, destroying him with words rather than action at, at this point. Don't understand why you're trying to get others to off themselves because you couldn't even DIY, which means that he wouldn't even be have the guts to commit suicide himself, so why try to harass people and drive others to it? Basically, it's not talking about suicide, like kill himself. It's like, you know, it's kind of playing off of like, why are you harassing people? because you can't, like, why are you trying to dish it out because you clearly can't take it back? Because I know all my friends here on YouTube are ride or die. Shout out to all my buddies, all my boys, because I know you guys have my back no matter what. Yeah, like your zipper, my rhymes are fly. Kind of a playoff, like, how my rhymes are fly. You compare a zipper to a fly. Also, kind of stolen by Eminem. Down a fucking bleach-flavored pie. Obviously, it's a shot, like, you know, like, you need to go the fuck on somewhere. Got so many, this was one of my favorites. Got so many accounts on Discord, guess we could call you a Hydra, like, get rid of one head, three more pop up. Like, if you don't know the story of Hercules when he fought the Hydra, basically, if you cut off one head off the Hydra, three more take its place. So, this is a play on, like, if you ban or block one of his Discord server uh, accounts and also it could apply to YouTube too because I dealt with that tonight too like he's gonna have more in his arsenal 
but you, what you didn't know was this shit is about to blow up. He didn't know I was going to diss his ass. Uh, he didn't know I was serious. Now, this is one of my favorite parts right here. Trying to break apart the community, but all you did was bring us together in unity. He unified the community against him rather than his main goal was to like DM us all, get us all to feel sympathy for him. Instead, he brought us all together against him. I know these rhymes are going to come under scrutiny, which I got lazy there. I wanted to find a rhyme for unity. I went with scrutiny, but like pronounced it however the fuck you pronounce it. Michael Hills, guess what I'm trying to say is you're a piece of shit. Like, you know, it is what it is. 183 subs. Bet you had to buy every last one of them. Your favorite job is working the rim. rim like, obviously the rim job this isn't based on facts it's just a light a light disc um, I guess you could say in a way it's a shot where I'm like he's eating shit cuz like shit's coming out of his mouth pretty much so he had to eat a ass to I mean come on and like obviously 183 subs I'm saying like how the fuck does he have any subs at all and you never talk in your videos because you don't want us to know you as neutered or maybe you're a pervert like Brock from Pewter. And like, he doesn't really talk in a lot of his videos, so nobody knows what the fuck he sounds like. For all we know, he could be like a six-year-old kid. We don't know. All I know is that he deserves what the fuck he's getting. And a pervert like Brock from Pewter, you kind of, like when it comes to a pervert or a pedophile, which is apparently what he is because his... Um, server was like his robot was sent his bot was sending out porn to people and basically he tried to explain it like I I only control the controls well if you're controlling the controls if you're telling it like giving it the commands you're the reason it's sending out porn dude but like you also like perverts like um, you know like they're at like Brock like Brock's kind of a pervert so and from Pewter obviously he's from Pewter City that rhymes with neutered fucked up in the head like the writer of Happiness and Cyanide which is like a comic type thing and it's really fucked up but it's really funny in this case he wasn't funny but I saw I said man you need to get off the Xanides which is like a drug Xanax is pretty much you know so I said it must be drugs because you should know not to fuck with us. He should know what the fuck's coming. He's got so many videos out there on him by now. Honestly, he probably likes the attention. But, and that's why he's doing it because he likes the attention. He's a little attention star prick, but you know, it is what it is. Time to take your channel and move elsewhere. I'll even get the moving truck, but what the actual fuck is the point because you ain't making moves no way basically I'm saying it's time to get the fuck out of YouTube and the moving truck it's a, it's a reference for he actually has something he needs to move but he's losing subscribers instead of gaining them so why why does he need to have a moving truck he can't move anything go drink more alcohol and get drunk to the point you sway and like that is like I mean it's just a light disc like he might be on he might be an alcoholic for all we know and sway like you know like you sway when you're drunk you can't walk don't ever try to drive a wedge between us again because you're gonna get the bejesus slapped out of you like we just cleansed your sins I mean come on like he's trying to drive a wedge like he's trying to split apart the community but when I said slap the bejesus and like we just cleansed you of your sins Jesus cleansed us of our sins you know, as they say in the Bible, if you don't believe, you can choose to believe that or not. It's just a line in my song. But like, but Jesus, it's like you slap the hell out of somebody. So in a way, it's like we just slap the hell out of you. Like we just slap the demons out of you. But we also just cleansed you of your sins, like Jesus. Like in other words, like you just paid for your sins. So like it, it actually is a really deep line now that I actually think about it. And then I ended up with a fuck you punk, which is obviously how the fuck I feel about him. He's a punk and fuck him. But not fuck him, fuck him, fuck him. Like, get the fuck on somewhere. 
But anyways, like if you were confused, that's literally a line by line of the disc. I hope this makes you actually feel that the disc, like the disc track, is stronger than what it was. Cause I mean, it, like it's filled with double and triple entradas. So like, and I'm actually really impressed with my writing. Um, I don't mean to toot my own horn or anything, but like I, I personally believe it's probably the, definitely the best diss track I've ever written. And that's because this guy gave me so much ammunition to use against him. That, you know, I mean, I couldn't help but write a good diss. Because you literally gave it all to me right there. But anyways, that's pretty much going to do it. Um, Real American Studios out. Peace out all my homies. And fuck Michael Hills, bitch.